The Colorado Front Range. Its beauty attracts people from all over the world. Trails begging to be trekked, yet tempting wilderness that can't be tamed. Today we're hiking uh, Mount Cutler. That's why Scott Garcia. Rain jacket, first aid kits. Always arrives prepared. Sometimes you get hungry in the... <laughs> and over the last four years, Scott's been hungry for one thing. My first 14er was Mount Elbert. Climbing Colorado's 14ers. Capital Peak, uh, 14,130 feet. 47 of them. The date I did it was August 30th, 2018. And Scott. Quandary Peak, 14,265 feet. Remembers every detail of each summit. Pikes Peak, the elevation, 14,115 feet. Mm -hmm. Used to be 14,110 feet. <laughs> what happened, Scott? How to change? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of miles, each a step in the right direction. It really helps me mentally. Especially remarkable, considering Scott. Just staying positive, you know, that's, you know, that's been the huge thing. Has autism. He's shattering all of the autism uh, misconceptions. The boy who didn't start talking until he was five years old. This is a tough one. Now a walking inspiration, a natural at nature. And that's when I really started to break out of the shell. Proving to his friends, like Chantel Showy, a disorder can also mean putting your best foot forward. He remembers maps, he remembers elevation, trails, where to go, where not to go. That's not his disability at all. Scott has adapted, but conquering stereotypes while conquering summits has had an extra layer of meaning since the beginning. I think the biggest thing was to be closer to my parents. Scott was 12 years old when his mother, Sandy, passed away from type 1 diabetes. His father, Stuart, passed away from a heart attack just seven years later. It was a learning curve for both of us. We both kind of shed some tears. We both got frustrated. It was Scott's Aunt Lori who took him in. Even she was surprised at Scott's independent, newfound passion following the loss of his parents. He researched everything, you know, because then I started Googling stuff and thinking, what does he need? What does he need? And I'd ask him, oh, I've got that covered, Aunt Lori. Scott, eager to hike, just to be closer to my, my parents, you know, being close to the heavens. In order to heal. I feel that connection every time. That feeling of being with mom and dad, hitting its peak when Scott neared the top of Mount Democrat. It was cloudy when I summited and I said, love you, mom and dad, it's my 29th. And then the, the sun just opened up and just shines at the summit. And I'll never forget that day. I mean, that was one of those vivid memories. Of course, once you reach the summit, Scott's number one rule. Just take some time to enjoy the amazing view. If things wouldn't happen in Scott's life the way they did, I don't know if he would be doing 14ers. Everything he has set out to do, he has done. Because I mean, it's God's country. Embracing? God made this. The role of trailblazer. Just really go out there and just try it. You know, like if something really grabs your attention, just go try it. While elevating his love for mom and dad. Oh, they're probably just blown away. But I know they're all, they're so proud. They are so proud. Josh Hummel, News Channel 13. That was a major thing in my life. North Cheyenne Canyon. <laughs>